Hi, and welcome back to our channel, Blessed Trimmability. What we're going to do this afternoon is, do you have zucchini in your garden? My husband brought in a great big zucchini yesterday, and I thought, what, what can I do with that? So I chopped it up into these two jars, and I thought, the other day, Charlie wanted to say, Charlie down. Um, I made, I had some leftover pork roast, and I had some zucchini, and I thought, well, I'll just make some hash. I thought, what could be more simple to have some hash when, you know, you have leftover meat, so you have leftover beef roast, pork roast, chicken. Down, Charlie, down. And it's quick and simple, and I think everybody will like it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to I'm gonna start with some coconut oil, probably about a tablespoon or so in here. Now maybe that's a little too much. In here, I'm having trouble with the tripod today, but so we'll do it like this. And then I have some, and then this is optional. You could use any kind of olive oil, or you can just use more coconut oil. But I have this, it's Madagascar peppercorn, black peppercorn olive oil. See that. I think it will give it a really good flavor. So I'm going to put some of this, about a tablespoon of this in there too. Okay. So there, next, I'm going to, I pre-chopped this onion. It's about a cup and a half of onion. We're going to put in here. Oh, you can smell it, that's for sure. saute that but I'm also going to put the zucchini on at the same time I was using these ball jars as prep jars maybe I should have used the white metal on this one it'll come out though what are some things that you would make with your zucchini at your house I know a lot of people, well, they make zucchini bread. Well, there are ways that you can make THM zucchini bread. I get that. But I would, I like to make it in a savory setting as well. So that, that would probably be four cups that's in the quart. And this is gonna be, that this is a pint and a half, so this is another three cups. So what I'm gonna do is, Around. And then I'm going to put probably about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast on it. To give us some more nutrients in it. And then we're just going to let this cook down. And you, you'll have to look at yours and see. You may need to put more um, oil of some kind in there. We're going to cook this probably about five minutes or so till it five to ten minutes till it starts to soften a little bit and then excuse me the dogs are right here then i have um two cups of cooked chicken this can be cooked chicken can be cooked with leftover roast i don't know hamburger i don't know if you can do that or not but that's um that's what i'm going to put in but i'm going to wait because this doesn't have to cook as long i'm sorry as the other so i will come back when that's closer to being cooked and i'll show you what it looks like okay here we are back again. Let me give you a little look at kind of what it looks like now. It's been about six minutes or so. Now we're just gonna put the chicken in there with it and cook that around. This will probably take two more minutes for the chicken to get brown as well. You don't want your zucchini to turn to mush. You want it to be, um, have a little bit of, I don't know, firmness to it, but um, now the zucchini is starting to brown up a little bit, which, you know, the thing of it is, you can have this as, you know, a lot of times people have the hash, like you can buy the corn, canned corned beef hash and stuff, which, I, you know, people eat it, I think it's pretty tasty, but if you think of all that stuff that you're getting in there in it, and this will be just tasty as can be because it's good for you. It's got the nutritional yeast. It's got the um, the olive oil. It has the coconut oil, zucchini, and it has um, meat, your protein in it as well. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Let's 
seen it though? Yeah, but. Okay. Then you just cook that up until the meat is brown. You know, I think, I'm pretty sure you could do this with yellow squash too. Do you have what, yellow squash coming on in your garden too? We do have some, but the zucchini, yeah, buddy. The zucchini was the first thing to come off. So, I had to take the zucchini and, and I had to cut it and then I scooped out the middle to where the seeds and pulp were. But then I still had enough to put a quart size bag of this in the freezer. I made a little bit of hash for myself yesterday and then I have this and I'm going to have prepared for this next week. You can reheat it in the oven, you can reheat it in the microwave, you can reheat it um, on the stove. And then what I like to do is you can, I like ketchup on it. If you're a drive through suit, you can use this no sugar added ketchup or Trim Healthy has a good ketchup recipe as well. So the recipe was two cups of chicken, about a cup and a half of onion, about maybe four plus three, seven cups of zucchini, or however much zucchini or squash that you want in it. And then you just cook it until it's sauteed to your liking, cups tender enough until the chicken gets it's getting kind of done. And you have it easy, easy supper ready in minutes. And I, the, I pre-cut everything yesterday, and you could cut yours up in the morning and then have it at night. So let me show you what's looking like there. So I hope you like it and try it and use up that zucchini in a healthful way. See you next time. Be a blessing.